In this following tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you on how to set up the drawing sway graph made by Hebby inside of Venia. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you're an absolute beginner at Venia, please check out my other tutorials as I went over basically the basics of Venia in my ultimate guide. And also in case you don't know nodes, I have a dedicated tutorial made for talking about different kinds of nodes that you may want to learn. But either way though, and also please join Superdrill's Discord server as you can learn much more about Venia and actually have a better experience with Venia if you join the Discord server and ask questions there. Now, uh, basically, if you want to download the Drawing Sway graph, you're going to have to download it in Superdrill's Discord server since the graph is made by Hebby. Um, Hebby was the one who originally made the Sway graph uh, for Binyan and basically enhanced it and they took the time uh, to make it for drawing, you know, the Sway graph. So basically, it looks like, um, it looks like this basically. So basically, it'll have like a bit of the arm jiggle here, but it also has the ability for the mouse. Basically, um, Superdrill also has her own uh, Twitch VOD tutorials about the whole arm tracking thing, like how to do that from scratch and all that, but I won't go over the how to do this from scratch though, because uh, not even I know. I, I also have a small brain. But basically, you can do this in Vinyan. But how do you do it? So, like I said, download Heavy's graph picture will show you where you can download in Suvi's Discord server, how to look it up. And basically what you're going to do is first and foremost you're gonna go into the node graph and you're going to click on add new graph and you're going to basically um you're going to load in the JSON file for the drawing graph. Now for my case though I already have it pre-existing uh in here. So there's a drawing sway graph and it looks very massive. I know it's scary but don't worry there's only a very few stuff that you really have to adjust. So for my case though, because I am a Stream Deck user, I have WebSocket commands up here. But uh, I believe by default it is set to hotkey. So uh, for hotkey users, if it, I hope it is set up default with hotkey. So if you see basically this message here and there's a hotkey next to it, just set up your hotkey. But if you're a Stream Deck user, uh, I have another tutorial about WebSocket stuff, but pretty much you can set this up with your stream deck so that way you can utilize it um so whichever your hotkey is or your you know your toggle basically so um for my case basically i set up where the web socket is basically this so basically what you're going to do um is that uh for the most for the first part though once you trigger it you should have your hand moving and your arm sway will work pretty much um if by any chance your arm sway does not work um, I do have another uh, tutorial dedicated to the arm sway, but basically you're supposed to load in the pendulum chain specifically for the arm sway. So the arm sway, um, if you have set up the arm sway, which looks like this basically, that has like the live 2D sort of arm jiggle like this. If you have this set up, then it should work automatically. If not, then you're going to have to download the pendulum in um, Suvi Discord server. Uh, here's another picture on where you can download the uh, the pendulum from. Basically, um, you just load that in, just import chain, and you can be able to load it. Basically, so basically, um, you should have your arm jiggle. And of course, if you don't like the arm jiggle and you just want it stiff, then you don't need to um, set up the pendulum. You can just leave it alone. Basically, so basically, um, on the node graph though. Um, Pretty much, if you want to do some adjustments, like let's say with the finger posing, you just have to look at some of the nodes here. So, like, basically, uh, this may look a little complicated, but basically, um, here you'll basically see that there are rotation values for each of the fingers. So, you can change the values according to what you want, basically, uh, if you so desire. For my case, I've already preset up for my own um, arms, basically, or my own hands, but you could change it uh, here for the left arm here. But if you want to also, let's say, for example, the uh, finger posing here, for some reason, may look a little off, then you can actually be able to go all the way down here, and you could change the rotation values here, basically. That way, your... Um, Basically, you can have it where the fingers are more properly positioned, basically. You could also mess with the lerp nodes, but you don't have to, especially if you're a beginner. Don't touch it. If by any chance, uh, let's say your monitor is much bigger, you may have to increase your resolution here, uh, depending. Uh, this, If you increase the um, resolution, it might help you out, especially if you're using it for multiple monitors. 
Um, I, again, I'm, I don't really uh, use my drawing tablet too much, nor do I have multiple monitors. So mess around with these values, uh, it might help you out. Or again, join some of the Discord server. Uh, the answer for like multiple monitor use should be there, basically. So I will say that. Now, pretty much, um, besides that though, uh, basically, that's pretty much, also, by the way, there is leap motion support, so if by any chance, um, first of all, you'll go to the general settings, so you'll make sure to enable your leap motion support here, basically, but pretty much, um, pretty much, uh, if you have, like, your leap motion on, it will have it. Now, keep in mind that with the draw sway graph, it'll have it where if your leap motion is enabled, uh, it will make it where, you know how your hand is moving like this, basically? The leap motion can actually become an actual controller, which is pretty nice if you want your real-life hand to actually, like, track with the actual character's arm, like, with the drawing tablet, basically. Uh, you could modify the graph if you want where the hands could actually move or just disable the, um graph and then the hands will actually move itself uh so yeah just keep that in mind but yeah so pretty much though um that's basically it for like the leap motion it should pretty much and i'll go ahead and pull up my leap motion real quickly that way um that way you can see for yourself just in case uh you're wondering how it'll look like so basically i have my hands here right here are my hands and then here it is with the drawing sway graph so basically, my left hand is actually controlling the movement of the, the, basically, the hand, basically. Now, of course, if you don't want it with the left hand, you can actually change it. So you could change it so it's on the right hand instead, basically. So um, I'll change this to right hand. Um, that way, well, actually, it's not working on me, apparently. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why I'll do that, but... I could probably, uh, at least for my case, um, I could just like disable mirroring so that way I'll use my right hand instead basically if I want it like that. Uh, but again, there is also a, a modified version of the graph where uh, if by any chance you can't get to work on your other hand, there is the um, opposite version. So if you want where the right hand actually controls the leap motion. Um, you can get the other graph there where you get the original graph from, but yeah, pretty much though, um, that's if you want to use leap motion. Otherwise, if you don't want to use leap motion, um, again, um, you, you know, it's perfectly fine because the graph works without leap motion, so yeah. But I just wanted to at least mention that basically. So either way, um, pretty much in a nutshell, that's basically how you'll do it. And again, you just have to send signal if you want to disable it. I will also say as well for the props here, there is a pre-existing props that Hebby has, uh, redistributed, um, which is basically, there are, I believe, under public domain. So the original, um, meshes, uh, the original model don't have to be credited. It's appreciated, but not have to be credited because they're under public domain. Um, Hebby converted the, uh, props basically, but you can also make your own Vignon props if you wish. Uh, basically all you have to do is once you basically, um, you know, enable the sway graph here, you're going to go into props and then you're going to import or add your prop there. So if you download Hebby's tablet and pen stylus, you can import that. And basically, um, you can have it where, if I could find it, like right here, this is a pen. Thankfully with the new version of Vignon, you can actually be able to utilize the gizmos here. So movement or rotation or scale. That way you can have more precise positioning. So definitely you could do that. And make sure you have the link bone set to the right bone here. So for the pen, it'll be right hand, unless you're a lefty, then left hand. Um, and also as well, um, again, it really depends on how you want it set up. But basically, uh, you can even mess with the other values. Same thing with the tablet here as well. Uh, you can move it around if you so desire. Like if you want the tablet to be closer to the pen, you can do that. Uh, I have mine set to the upper chest though, but you can set it to be something else. Like it could be attached to your other hand or something, whichever you like. Uh, you can go crazy with it, but this is just to at least get you to, like, first of all, just to let you know that this graph is a thing, but also as well, um, you know, for beginners to understand the graph, 
this is basically it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it in a nutshell, though. Again, you could probably do a lot more with the graph, by the way. In fact, I've actually did it where I have a mouse way graph, which I think mine, I accidentally broke it, sadly. Oops. Um, I'm probably gonna have to... Yeah. So, I'll... Yeah, there you go, but... There you go. The thing kind of broke a little bit. My bad. All I can fix that. There you go. So basically, yeah. But excuse a little brokenness. Uh, I can't be toggling the graphs too much. But basically, you can actually even have it where with the, you know, if you modify the, the drawing sway graph, you can even have it where it can control your mouse basically like this. Um, again, you can go crazy with the graph if you want. That's the power of being young. You can go really crazy. But either way, though, um, that's pretty much all I really have to say, at least, though. Uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell on the whole draw sway graph, basically. If you have any other questions, please let me know. I do recommend for the graph specifically, you can ask Hebby if you need some assistance or Suvi if necessary. Just join this... Um, Join um, Suvidro Discord server so you can learn more about Vignan and also this specific uh, graph if you have any other issues because I know that there may be some very specific setups that you may need some assistance which, uh, with. So basically join uh, Suvidro Discord server so you can ask those specific questions over there. But without further ado, that's pretty much all I have to say. I'll leave my socials here and I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!